Hallo und einen wunderschönen guten Abend zu unserer ersten Sonderausgabe von Journey to the Chateau hier in beautiful um, Saint Baudel oder im wunderschönen Saint Baudel. Mm -hmm. uh, herzlich willkommen. Bonjour tous et bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe in Saint Baudel. And now to our English-speaking friends from around the world, and it truly is around the world. Um, welcome to our first special edition of uh, Journey to the Chateau. Right. We have uh, this is the week of Thanksgiving. And so we have uh, a lot of things to show you, so we decided we were going to do uh, an extra episode. Yes, and uh, then some unexpected things happened. Right. So this, uh, this episode specifically was about uh, making the pies for Thanksgiving, and Jane from Not Quite a Chateau DIY came over to help us make pies. And before we started making them that morning, something happened. Yes, let's have a look. What's happening today at the chateau? <laughs> <laughs> Got a dishwasher. Yay. Uh, Just arrived? W w uh, we have one, as you can see, um, which we used once and it just is a bit, uh, no, no. Um, so the plug is behind that and the water is behind here, which is normal. That's how the walls look. Okay. Um, I looked, there is the uh, shutoff um, for the water, does not have the handle on it. Oh, of course. So, uh, let's unpack that one and okay. see if they have the same Connection. connections here. So, if not, we're going to the store anyway, Home Improvement. And, and we'll and, pick up something yeah. for that. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, sweet potato, which uh, I I love sweet potato pie. Right, and, we, and you and I have made sweet potato pie uh, for Thanksgiving for many years now. Yes. That's not something I've ever tried. So, I'm fascinated. Um, I did pre-roast the sweet potatoes. So they are, because when you, when you roast, pre-roast them, oh, well, you have to pre-cook them anyways, but yeah. people boil them. They get very also, mushy. They get wet. Yes. Yeah. And then people steam them still. And if you roast them in, and I've made all three variations, if you pre-roast them, they caramelize, they become sweeter. Right. Yeah. So you need way less sugar, which is delightful. I, I think it's great. I love great. sweet potatoes anyway. I love roasted oh, sweet potatoes. It's so good. <laughs> but yeah, I've never had it as a dessert. So shall we uh, start with the sweet potato? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I'm fascinated to see what's going to happen. <laughs> so, so are these when you cook, you call them pies? Is it an open yes. pie? Because yes, in the UK, a pie has got a lid on it. Correct. So right. It's and on the top as well. But you, right. we would call that a tart. Why do you call me? Sorry, you tart. No. Yes. In the in the states, whether it's open or crusted over the top, it's, it's still a pie. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
And so but we call mean, lots of other things pies as well. We would call a steak and kidney pie, but it's like a steamed right. pudding or right. um, yeah, more of a pudding. And they, there's like mince pies, right? Yes. yes. Which oh. isn't actually mince, made with dried fruits. But originally, it would have been mince. It would have had meat in it. It's mince meat, right? And they added spices yes. and fruit because they were special things that they had at that time of the year. Correct. It was a luxury item. Right. But now we just have the fruit. Right. And, and I don't really fancy something with minced meat and fruit in it. Oh, what have you got there, Patrick? Cream. This is uh, it's creme fraiche du Cigny. Ooh. So when you, that twice a year when you do this, you go all out. Right. There's no calorie counting. Would you usually use cream? Because that's something I, we can't get here. I have creme entière, yeah. and I have milk, right. which will all go in it. Okay. Now I need to, at some point, measure Ooh. a few things. It's very rich. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. I mean, there's nothing really, uh, again, like one of my, many of the other things we're talking about, there's nothing subtle no, or, or then, about Thanksgiving. It's, if it's for a special occasion, it wouldn't be, would it? No. Right. And it's, it's really... When you think about the, 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 the history of Thanksgiving, it was the, the settlers coming to the United States. Yeah, I understand that part. And, and, she, and the, the, they didn't have enough to eat. It was cold. It was, uh, and yeah. so the, the, the natives shared. Before they could throw their own food and things. Yes. Because yeah. they arrived there, you know, so it's, uh, and, and they arrived on Plymouth Rock. Yeah, that, I'll tell you something. It's the fact that uh, the Mayflower actually, well, reportedly stopped at the place that I used to live in in the UK, which is Leon C, to um, take on board lots of supplies before it it went off to on its journey to um, wow. America. So uh, there's actually actually a pub there called the Mayflower, although I think there's quite a few pubs called Mayflower in <laughs> different places. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> So uh, I don't know a lot about the history of the Mayflower, but obviously it was the original Pilgrim settlers. Right. It, it's, you know, and it's... Um, I mean, that was a big adventure, wasn't it? Yeah. They've well, had a big adventure. How, how, that must have took them months to get there. Yes, and, and the fact that when they left their, their, their homeland, it was with the understanding that they will never see no. their families again. Right. Unless we get to travel back. Yes. Oh, by the way, so what I do... Sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> the, I'm just uh, in the story. The uh, skins for this. Uh, because there's always enough on there. They go... Uh, they, our dogs get them for dinner. Oh, wow. They enjoy that, do they? Mm -hmm. they? love sweet potatoes. Yes. Yeah, so nothing's wasted. So... I would put it... I would um, recycle it and probably put it on the compost. But... Right. And the dogs are very... They love it. Um... Mm -hmm. And you can peel it. I, I like to use a spoon, but and you can see it's really nicely caramelized. Yeah. Yes. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love your apron, Stuart. Thank you. <laughs> I don't even think it's. Oh yes, give us a demonstration, Stuart. Yes. <laughs> they come Ready, from? One, three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they come from? So yes, uh, our wonderful friend Jason. From Colorado in the United States. Yeah. Um, he uh, he made a little bit of fun of me, which is perfectly fine. But he said, yeah. uh, "Where's the apron?" And I, <laughs> I said something like, "Well, I don't have one." And he said, "Well, if I send you one, will you wear it?" And I said, "Yeah, absolutely." Yes. Um, so he sent us. He sent us three aprons. Yes. Yeah. And um, so we thought, what better? <laughs> moment to start using them as this yeah brilliant and it is you know it is for me I, I i love cooking and i've got that from inherited that from my father and um so my my grandmother she was in service yeah my, my dad's mom yeah, and, my nan was. and so she was a cook and oh, no, my nan was just a, a housemaid but... uh there is one day where i have to make my I did that once in the, in, in the US. So I made um Zoabatten. So it is uh, beef marinated in red wine for three to four days. Yeah. 
with Viennese silk dumplings. So it's potato dumplings. Yeah. With they're made with with cooked potatoes. Right. And eggs. And, Something else I've not tried. Uh, and when they come out of the, the, the steeping water, it, they are, when they dry a little, they turn, they look like they're made out of silk. Are they a bit like, they're dumpling type? Things, yes, they? yes, oh, okay. and they have uh, croutons in the middle. Yeah. They're, they are divine. It's, well, you have and, to make that one, like, because I've got to try that. <laughs> and as, yes, and as, but as a child, when my grandmother made them, uh, I could make or eat six of them. Now I, I'm happy if I, I manage one. Oh. And I was skinny then. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you know, it's, silly. It is just, yeah. it, it, they're so good and there's a little bit of nutmeg in them, but yeah. just a hint. Oh, it's, it's just, just So divine. is this what the sort of thing that we would call a peasant food to fill you up? Because we have a lot of things like dumplings and, um, well, pie again is something that's to the pastry. Oh, this, these dumplings up. came from, uh, from the Imperial Court in Vienna. Oh, so it's not, so it's, it's not it's a like dish, it's a haute cuisine. Dish. Yes, it's with eggs and extra egg yolks oh. and <sighs> cream. cream. It's, it, is, it is really, really nice. So, that's what... Oh, okay. Et voilà. Yep. Just for good measure. And now... What have you got there? You've got some cream, some milk. Cream, milk, uh, the creme de cini, which is so thick. Yeah. That is like triple cream, I think. I don't know. <laughs> it, it must be. Just, it's cream overkill. Uh, I... Where is it? Now, uh, in, the, in the States, we have things that are like uh, 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 pumpkin pie spice. It's like uh, spices that are yeah. already put together of all these different things They're like, right there. like nutmeg and, you know. Yeah, it's not the spice mix, is it? Yes, it's exactly. Yeah. This made me so happy when it found <laughs> So this what is pumpkin is pie mix. Yes, nutmeg. pumpkin pie spice, yes. Spice. I've actually got it. What yes. What does that have in it? Uh, it's nutmeg, cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon, yeah. What else is in it? Oh, it smells so good. And I, I'm... When you things like cloves, is it? Is it ground like cinnamon, cinnamon, ginger, lemon peel, nutmeg, cloves, mm -hmm. and cardamom. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. cardamom. Yeah, they're all the flowery smelling. Yes, and spices. you know, it's usually people say like half a teaspoon or something. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Quadruple it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't taste right. Right. And I have a little bit of. Cinnamon, cinnamon. Ah. Yeah, that's our. <laughs> well, I'm just going to do it this cinnamon. way. Make sure we have plenty of cinnamon. Yes. Okay. Now let's see. Have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. So, so I need you to roll out the first pie crust. So okay. Because we need to blind bake. Okay. Do you have baking beans for that? Yes. We do. Uh, Just bought some new ones. Oh. Mm. What do you use, proper beans? I, I did, but now I have like the chickpeas. Or any, yeah. Yeah, I think, the, I think you can, beans, you can actually get like what, ceramic yeah. runs? Yes. I like those, Which, but. I quite oh. often use the dried ones, but if I haven't got any, then I'll just use salt inside a um, greaseproof paper. That works as well. Yeah, Patrick's, oh, that smells amazing. Already. <laughs> He's put it's in the pumpkin spice and some extra cinnamon for luck and some vanilla sugar and some vanilla extract. It smells amazing already. And he's put it in the mixer ready to mix it all together. So this gets mixed into a paste, does it? Yes, it does. Ah. Into a filling for Because in the... my mind, I had that it was going to be pieces of sweet potato. I don't know why. No, it's, you know, a, it's a complete pureed... <laughs> Yeah, it's completely pureed into oh, the... Oh, it smells amazing. So this is one of the ones you rolled out earlier, but... Yep. Yeah. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! 
Vegas soup just has custard. Oh. Hey, delicious. ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a beautiful colour. It's like a salmon pink colour. It is, yes, but it's roasted. It's just it's so lovely. And there is some leftovers. Is this the sweet potato? Yes. 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 So there is a left, some leftover, so that will be... Ah, let's see. do we get a taste then? Before yes. Thanksgiving. <laughs> a sneaky taste. Okay. And you can blind bake a crust and let it sit for a little bit while the other pie bakes. So that I think is just lovely. Okay, pie number one. Hooray! Very nice. So this is the one for the pecan? The pecan. Yes. Ah. You know, these are still a little warm. I'm gonna let yeah, them... Yeah, you don't want to spoil your pastry. No, I'm gonna let this sit. Yeah. It doesn't matter, because we have to wait anyways. Um, okay. Okay, ladies and yeah. gentle women, are you ready? Right. They don't look very much like pecans. Well, they're walnuts because I couldn't get them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be absolutely yummy. Well, you yeah. know, they are kind they're, of... They're French pecans. They're just a, a walnut shape. You know, the walnut ones. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the, the, oh. the walnut family somewhere? That's what, almost like a toffee then, isn't it? It's it, got it, yes. and sugar, but it's got some eggs in it to give it a bit more substance. Yes. So, but, but, so it's put, sort of like a caramel -y sort of uh, yes. thing. Wow. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Mm. Oh, um, Was that you licking the spoon there? I saw you. <laughs> it's what I'm going to do just because I like it. What's this, cinnamon? Yes. Oh, wow. There's cinnamon already in it. Yeah. I think can't have enough cinnamon. Oh. Allegedly, I love cinnamon. It makes you happy. Does it? Yes. Oh. It's the happy thing. Good. So, a little wiggle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in, in she goes. And spicy things. What happened to my cinnamon? Oh, it's here. <laughs> so sad. So that's good. Well, Patrick's doing the pumpkin one now. It's similar um, to the sweet potato, and it's getting similar spices. It is very similar. It does yeah. have a slightly different taste. Um. I'm going to do a, a little pinch of cayenne pepper. Oh. It's just, it gives a little more interest, but yeah. it's uh, it's really not necessary. No, and now I, I'm going to... I gonna, like that idea. And now I'm going to... So, I have, what do I have in there? Have you put the vanilla sugar in again? Vanilla sugar is in it. Sugar is in it. Eggs. Cream. Milk. Um, should I put the creme de signe in it? The, the heavy... Double thick cream. <laughs> okay, nice. What do you yes. think? And so, if anyone wonders how this that is cream, that does look like clotted cream, doesn't it? That's amazing. I mean, this is this is cream. Yeah. And of course, one could sit here and eat the entire Fish, tub. Yeah, uh, Cornish clotted cream is very famous. Yeah. And we stopped at a. I was there with my parents, and we stopped at a, it was a sign on the street, farm, for cream tea. Yeah. And we sit in a, in a beautiful bow window. Yeah. And... Maybe like a little tea room. Yes, anybody was the farm, it was the living room. Oh, yeah. And... Oh, oh it was so oh, nice. up again. Oh, and with, with homemade jams and, and 
lots of cream. I mean, you could just take that bowl and go to the water and be happy. Because a lot of other things aren't like for Halloween, for instance. It's something that when we were children, we very rarely did anything for Halloween. Absolutely. So the dogs are complaining that they won't get any. Oh, so I know good. people want to know how long was it in there. I don't know. Until it's ready. Exactly. Right. Until it's you know, it, get, it, get, it has the golden brown around the edge. You know, right. and every oven's going to be different. And just a little wobble still in the middle. And it should right. have a little bit of wobble left in it. Yes. Too much of a wiggle? Should I leave it in there for a little longer? Um, you know what? It actually the color and everything looks right. Okay. So I would say let's leave it up. Yeah. Caramel. <laughs> because when and they, this, when they oh, cool. this it looks like a little souffle. souffle. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. And then I oh no, this is too much of a. This is not a wiggle; it's a wave. Oh, so that needs a bit longer. Yeah. Yes, right. that is still. Oh, the smell let's is see. absolutely amazing in here. And that's now heat from below. Right. Okay, so, so a little taste of this pumpkin -y one then. Yes, with and, and in comparison oh, to the sweet potato. Yes. Right. Yes. I love it. Mm -hmm. And you, but when you look at the, the pumpkin pie and the pecan pie, uh, the, oh good lord, yes, when there there is a difference between the pumpkin and the pecan pie. No, what I was wanted to say, so when you look at these two sweet pies, potato. they they do look quite different. Yes, actually this one. The pumpkin one is a more orange colour. It's, yes. it's quite strange right. because the sweet potato is probably darker. And I'm sorry for being so blunt, but um, looking at, at, at different recipes, just to, to remember the, the uh, amounts of things you need to, to bake them. Yeah. I had one, oh, the best pumpkin pie recipe. And it, the very first thing it said, uh, 500 gram of butternut squash. Well, that's not pumpkin, that is not a pumpkin. It? No, it's not. Although, so, it's still a, yeah. Same, same family. Same family. And but if you that's know, what you've got, and you've got to use up out of your garden, for well, instance, then yeah. Yes, but don't call it a pumpkin pie. No, and then a zucchini is in the same <laughs> family too, right? So I was like, I, I, I said to her, yeah. this is so stupid, I can't, I... Zucchini I, would be too wet. Yes, yeah. you couldn't. But I could see, I could see maybe butternut squash has got the similar texture, so yes. you could probably use that. But yeah, it's not, it's not officially a pumpkin pie, then. Is no. It? <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. We got our pies made with Jane. Yeah, that, that was. <laughs> eventually, we got them all three made. What do you mean eventually? <laughs> no, it was we we it, everything went went really quite flawlessly. It it did yes. Uh it it. it it truly was a lot of fun. It the was. three of us laughed a lot, and it was a wonderful afternoon uh, baking the pies. The kitchen smelled amazingly well. It did. I mean, just delicious. Right, and it was so great to know that you know the you know the dishwasher had came and we got it hooked up <laughs> all in time for washing all the dishes for the Thanksgiving. And without a leak, coming. right? Yet again, not, no not, leak. A, not a problem at all. <laughs> so that that was. Uh, oh, it was also progress. Now, uh, I know there will be people who say, why would you put a new dishwasher in a kitchen that's not ready? Well, it's actually quite nice to have a dishwasher when you have a big dinner party and can put things in it and not wash everything by hand. Although we've done that in the last six months and we had dinner parties, just not that large. Right. It was the, the, <laughs> our, our Thanksgiving dinner uh, the coming up will be our largest dinner that we've had here so far. Yes. Yes, definitely. And... It is so exciting. Mean, I'm so excited about it. Uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I think I need an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> so our episode tomorrow at our regular time will be our Thanksgiving dinner episode. Yes. With our friends coming. And we also have an episode that we're going to do on Sunday. Yes. Because we are going to do... Uh, the an Advent. An Advent uh, vlog calendar for us for for all the Sundays of Advent. Yes, so it will be four extra episodes every Sunday from he, us here in uh, the Chateau de Colomb, and it will include how we decorate, how we make bows. Uh, it's going to have baking in it, decorating, and for yes. our German-speaking friends, it will have a cover clutch in it. So uh, it is. Such a unique word. So, Cover Clutch is uh, basically a get-together where 
Uh, so there's coffee, there's tea, there are cookies and cakes, and people are sitting together, they're chatting, and usually uh, a, a little bit of slandering people and gossip. It's just lovely. <laughs> oh, it's, great. It's, it's, but it's a very <laughs> oh, We're going to have this here at the Chateau, and um, you're going to be part of it. Okay. On that high note, <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank you. Au revoir. Bon Auf Wiedersehen. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.